What is this? This is crazy. This is so uh, this is a computer right here. Whoa. Like what do I do with it? So you're saying that this is recording uh, my face and what I'm saying and it's being shown to people on the other side of the world? Hi. <laughs> um. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Cool. Um. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> uh. How do I do that again? I. Whoa. It's like a little video about cats. <laughs> okay, yeah, just only because there's a lot of those out there. So, scene. I guess I should have said that before I started laughing, but I don't care. It's been a while since I've done a little acting performance, if that's what you can call what I just did, which if you want to, you can, but it might have been abysmal. Hands have been so good. Alright, so I guess on that note we'll start the show and I want to welcome you guys to Be Connected, which is my YouTube channel that I'm putting out um, every Monday. So happy Monday to you. The reason why I did that little skit was that I wanted to try and imagine what I would be like looking at something that I'm very familiar with, something that I see on a daily basis, but through those eyes of um, like a childlike wonderment and amazement. I feel like it's harder to be amazed by certain things anymore. Um, when we're a kid, we get excited so easily about anything. Everything's fresh and new, and it's all an adventure. And then, like, there's something along the way where we tell ourselves, since we've seen it before many, many times, and we've done it a ton of times, um, we're almost like, I know how this goes. Yeah, I know this. We become, like, little know-it-alls. And... I feel like there's something with that that it's it's like suppressing our gratitude for certain things. So this this episode itself is about grateful. Yes. Gratitude. <laughs> it's about gratitude. Mm -hmm. On my travels I um I really had to uh stop and look at other cultures and how some of them really don't have those basic necessities and how like absolutely blessed um, we are here in uh, Western civilization and culture that we have a lot of those um, luxuries like they basically are luxuries um, some of them are necessities food water shelter um, you know all that but um, when you think about those luxuries, like, they, um, they do get taken for granted a lot. It's amazing that, um, just technology, I was kind of, uh, looking at that and focusing on it, um, within the past 100, 200 years, which is just basically a blip on the radar of, um, like, our timeline, it's amazing how technology has progressed so rapidly just within the last 200 years. Um, things like, let's see, I wrote down a couple dates here, so I'm going to look those up. But, um, so like the bicycle in, that's 200 years ago, um, was 1817. That's when that was, uh, invented. Um, the camera was invented in 1826. 
and if you hear something rattling, it's our dryer. It sounds like a helicopter. Uh, the dryer, that is a luxury. That's something that not a lot of even European Western um, culture has. They, A lot of them just use the drying racks. I saw one for the first time when I was in Paris, and I was like, what is this? This is crazy. But it's uh, it's amazing. Like You don't think of what a luxury just having a machine to put your clothes in to dry them is. The telephone was invented in 1876. Uh, the light bulb, 1879. Uh, television, like around the 1880s. Our cars that we drive in to work, that's uh, 1885. Um, Movies is late 1800s, so like 1895. Uh, an airplane, which takes us to far off land, that was in 1903. The computer was the early 1900s, anywhere from 1900 to 1936. It's been an ongoing development, but um, email, you know, uh, that was uh, the mid 70s actually. So, the first digital camera was 1975. Uh, mobile phones was the 80s. Well, I was born in the 80s, you know, I haven't been around that long, I wouldn't say I'm too old. <laughs> the internet was, um, I think, invented in the 1950s, but around the 1990s, that's when they came out with like the World Wide Web and how to connect us all like this, so it is absolutely amazing. It's crazy. All those technologies that I just described I can hold in my hand right now. This is insane. I can't use this as a bicycle, but I mean, they're getting there. We're able to connect with one another um, in lightning speed, and yeah, I feel like that's such a gift. I'm going to be um, giving a couple personal stories I had. Um, one is from the other day when I went to work, um, I woke up a little bit late and so had just a short amount of time to get ready in the morning. I kind of rushed and was putting on my clothes and had forgot to put a dollar, which I always put in my, um, in my pocket. I forgot to put it in there and when I am halfway there and kind of rushing, riding my bike, I'm thinking, shoot, I forgot the dollar for the bus, so how am I going to, you know, get to work? And I just kind of said to myself, okay, things are going to work themselves out. I ride up to the bus stop, and there is this lady um, standing at the bus uh, stop. I uh, was just telling her kind of about my morning and how I had kind of overslept, and I... Um, was looking through my bag and I was like, I think I've got change, I'm not sure, but yeah, she just willingly offered me a dollar to ride the bus and um, she ended up being super nice and we ended up talking the entire way to the, uh, the end of the line and yeah, it just felt synchronistic and I was meant to leave that dollar behind, so that was pretty cool. And um, that was a really awesome experience. It really made my day, to be honest. Her name's Kim. Thank you, Kim. It was nice to meet you. And I was going to give one example from our travels. And so I was going to kind of go in chronological order. And the first place that we went on our trip was Paris. And we stayed at this um, hostel. And we were uh, having a little drinks the first night, just celebrating woo, being on the trip. And... Um, I remember we were out front talking to a couple of gals who were from Quebec, I think. So they were French-Canadian. I remember one guy just kind of walked up the street, and she she goes, Hey, you, come over here, hang out, you know? And he's just kind of like, huh, what? And we ended up, you know, talking with him most of the night. And um, he was kind of asking where we had planned to um, go after this hostel. And... Um, we tell him we weren't really sure we were going to try possibly couch surfing or we were going to do another hostel, but, you know, all the hostels in the city center were pretty expensive. So he said, you know, hey, I live right down the road. How about you come, you guys come and stay with me? And my I live with my sister and you guys can 
uh, be there for a couple nights and we can take you out and we can show you like a good time and what to do and stuff and so they took us in um, complete strangers just he had I guess a good feel with us and um, we met him and his sister his name is Maxence and uh, her name Céline and they were some of the nicest people and I was super grateful that they were able to take us in and give us a place to sleep and show us a few different experiences that otherwise we would not have done on our own. We went to a really cool art show. He gave us this Comte cheese which was phenomenal, probably my favorite cheese that I've ever had. And that showing of uh, kindness and um, just wanting to give, you know, what they could give to strangers. It's amazing how often this happened on our travels. And so this is just, this is the first day, like, honestly, um, we, we came across a lot of that. So, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, um, being so nice to us and showing us a good time. nature I have a quote that I saw it came on a little tea bag one touch of nature makes the whole world kin and that's from William Shakespeare and so that to me just rings very true because I feel like because we're all part of nature we're all part of this whole um, we've come from the same place we it it makes us the same I mean we all have our differences and we have to really um, cherish those because you know we, um, as individuals, are beautiful, but also we are all made of the same thing. We all, um, we're all connected. So the reason why I named this uh, YouTube channel Be Connected, B-E-E, -E, is that there was a podcast that I was listening to um, from Inspire Nation, which, if you haven't heard of it before, please go check it out. It's amazing, super inspirational. It gave me the inspiration to start this show and to do so much more uh, with myself and my time to just become a happier um, person. So, uh, so the podcast, the specific one that I listened to, was all about bees. And so it's um, focused on a woman's... Um, uh, teachings, but also learning um, herself through being a beekeeper. Some pretty amazing things happened to her when she started connecting with bees on a level that I've never heard of anybody connecting with bees. She's kind of like a bee whisperer, or I would say very much so is a bee whisperer. And just kind of eye-opening to how connected a certain species can be with one another that um, it kind of sparked a um, interest in me to try to connect um, everyone in a way that might have not been done before. So that's kind of where that inspiration came to. I'm going to leave a link um, down in the description notes um, for that podcast specifically, and then also the Inspire Nation um, website. Please check it out. It's amazing. Thank you for your guys' podcast and inspiration. an artist that I uh, know personally who is amazing and super inspirational and his name's Nick Anderson. He actually grew up um, in Redding, California, which is where Carl, uh, my boyfriend, grew up. They are next door neighbors and he is one of the most talented indiv individuals I've ever met and at first, you know, you're kind of just like, how do you, what, how can you do all these things? Because you know, he's, he's musical. When I first met him, he was, um, doing, he was blowing glass, he was doing bronze work, he was a painter, and now he's making some incredible, um, like, super artistic knives in, um, in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and we went and stayed with them, and another one of those stories, of course, you know, he's kind of family to Carl and a really good friend of mine, um, but him and his girlfriend just took us in and let us stay there for as long as we needed, and um, yeah, we're just showing us so much kindness and um, going out of their way to make us feel welcome in their, in their city. So um, him, 
personally, I would love to leave links to um, down in the show notes, and please check him out. He's got amazing, amazing knives and glass um, pendants and um, so many things that he does that are just super artistic and creative, and honestly, you probably... Uh, would be slightly envious of him and um, maybe not like him as much if he wasn't the most humble and kind and selfless um, guy that like I've ever met. So just an all around good guy and I would love to send some support his way if you guys want to um, purchase any of his artwork. I'll leave the links down below so check him out. He's amazing. Um, I just wanted to thank all the family and friends who are supporting me right now. There were um, several family members who donated to my GoFundMe page, which I am incredibly grateful for. I know that um, you probably wouldn't want to donate anything less than what they did, um, just because it seems odd to be like, oh, there's a $50 donation, there's a $100 donation. I'm going to give you $2. Enjoy. But, like, honestly, I'm, there's no judgment, there's no, um, un, I'm not ungrateful if you donate a dollar, like, that's amazing, like, whatever, it's, it's not the monetary value that I'm, um, grateful for, it's the, it's the support, like, honestly, and if you don't have a dollar to spare, I'm, that's fine, I totally get it, um, but yeah, anything helps, and I'm super, um, thankful for all of those who are supporting me and believing in this idea, and that, um, uh, that we can really connect with one another through our stories and through our experiences, and I am really excited to see where, where this goes, and I am super excited to have you guys along for the ride, so. Towards the end of each episode, I kind of wanted to do somewhat of like a mindful practice, or if you want to call it, um, if you want to call it a prayer, you can. If you want to call it a meditation, if you want to call it something to focus on, that you can give um, like positive thought to. Uh, that's that's kind of what I wanted to do at the end of my show. And if you have anybody in your life who needs support, needs good vibes, needs love and light sent to them, I want to hear about it and I'd be more than happy to mention them um, in at the end of my show and to try to help um, certain individuals who are watching this show just to give in that sense. Um, to give your own love and support to something I think is, um, is an amazing thing that we all have a gift, um, of doing. So let's, um, just, I guess, quiet yourself right now. Close your eyes if you want to. Don't do it if you're driving. Um, I don't know why you would be watching this. If you were driving, please pull over. Um, do not be watching a video while you're driving because that's dangerous. So, um, just close your eyes at the moment. Take some deep breaths. Slow your mind if you can. Focus on the breath and think about how grateful you are to be breathing at this very moment because that is quite a gift that we all have that is another one of those that we kind of forget about. And so I want to focus on bees and their incredible nature and the magic that they have within their community and their unity and their connectedness. And that there's so much that we can learn from them. And there's so much that they do to this planet and that they help. They help pollinate the different crops that might not be able to grow without them. 
And I think that they do need our help, they need our love, they need our support, they need our awareness to be aware of what we do and how it causes them harm and how expanding our awareness to the beauty and wisdom that they hold within themselves and how shifting our thoughts about them and our consciousness about them, we can start to love them and cherish them and do things to change our ways of doing things now that are hurting them. And I just want to hold the bees and what they do in my thoughts and in my heart and send them love and gratitude super grateful for them thank you all right so that is my show and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you gathered something from it i hope it can take you through the rest of your week um, with a sense of gratitude and gratefulness and um, looking at things in a different light and learning from children's sense of awe um, to help inspire us to really appreciate what we have. So, thank you. Love you guys. Have a good week. I'll see you next time.